Well, have you heard or seen more coyotes in your neighborhood lately? Well, Fox 2 meteorologist Jamie Travers explains why you may have and how to keep your pets safe. Coyotes are more active this time of year, which means more sightings in the suburbs and even in urban areas. Now, seeing a coyote can be startling, but the main concern are your little pets. Coyotes are looking for food for their pups. We've had numerous reports of them in places like Forest Park and Tower Grove Park and in suburban neighborhoods from North County to South County and West County. If you see a coyote, what should you do? First thing to remember is that there has been no documented coyote attacks on humans in the state of Missouri. The thing, though, that might be something of a concern is pets. Small pets like cats could possibly be looked at as prey by a coyote. Uh, and other dogs especially, especially the smaller dogs. Often when a coyote attacks a dog, it's territorial. They see the dog as a competing or invading canine. Keep your small pets safe by going outside with them, especially at dawn, dusk, and at night. Fences can also help as one more barrier to your dogs. People can scare them away. If you do see coyotes in your yard or near your yard, you want to harass them and make sure that it's an unpleasant experience for them. That can be anywhere from really bright lights you shine in their face, to shooting them with high power hoses. You can throw things at them, use air horns, whistles, bang pots and pans. And make sure you aren't attracting coyotes. If you can keep that trash in an airtight container or leave it in a garage or a shed or something until it's ready to go out, don't uh, feed your pets outside. Leaving that pet food out there can also attract coyotes. Uh, another thing is grills. Make sure you keep those grills covered or in an enclosed space because that grease or meat particles on the grill will also attract coyotes. I'm meteorologist Jamie Travers reporting.